Well, if you haven't been down to the Strip in a while, be forewarned. While most of visitors and locals have pretty enjoyable experiences at the hotels and at the restaurants, a new crime wave is underway, including an explosion of prostitution-related robberies, gangs, drugs, even pickpockets. The I team was allowed to tag along with both uniformed and plainclothes teams who have their hands full trying to keep the Strip safe. George Knapp here with the exclusive story. Well, as we were talking about at 6 o'clock, the first line of defense is the uniformed officers who project a strong police presence on the streets and sidewalks. The more sinister and sophisticated crime groups are a whole different challenge. They're involved in drugs, robberies, human trafficking, auto thefts, and a range of often violent, highly organized criminal pursuits. That's where the plainclothes detectives come into play. What they do each night is both impressive and unnerving. We're dealing with many New Year Eves every Friday, every Saturday night uh, up here um, with the same amount of officers that we'd have for you know, uh, that we had, you know, five years ago. Riding with Metro Sergeant Mike Ford is always an eye opener. A few years ago, when he headed up a uniform squad, he showed us the gritty underbelly of the strip, the part most locals never see. He recently returned as the head of a team of detectives with the flexibility to follow crime wherever it leads. There's no such thing as a slow night. There's so many more criminals up on the strip now. Um, predators. Predators, that's exactly what, that's a great word for it. The mob may be gone, but organized crime is alive and well on the Strip. The prostitution rings that are now prominent in most casinos with nightclubs are largely fronts for violent high-end robbery rings. Ford says there are five or more trick rolls per night, and many more that are never reported because the victim doesn't want his wife to know. Well, they show up and they get up to your room and then they spike your drink with um, sedative, and then you wake up, fi you know, 15 hours later with uh, your Rolex uh, missing, your all your laptops, your computers, uh, any type of electronic credit cards, all that stuff is gone. The same gangs have their fingers in human trafficking and drug sales on the strip. You know, we could literally walk uh, a hundred foot er area up here and be approached a dozen times from different people trying to sell narcotics. Some of them are the smut peddlers. If you go try to buy some dope, a lot of times uh, the person that's running, trafficking that dope for you goes up to the smut peddler and gets it from him and brings it to you. So it's, it, it's, it's all really pretty well um, linked up in, in clicks. Although dope is not a primary focus for Ford's team, they can't avoid it. Jeff, you wanted to stay there with the eye? During the briefing at the start of their shift, they outline a plan for sending an informant in to make a controlled buy of meth. And then we're just going to buy 20 worth. The detectives on this squad were handpicked. They realized that, hey, you know, you want to catch bad guys and you want to be proactive and you want to really be able to uh, take a, somebody that robbed somebody's mom or somebody's dad or somebody's grandpa and grandma. Uh, we could take those people in custody the same night. The team targets some dope dealers because of the related crimes, robberies and burglaries done to support the user's habits. As we waited outside a notorious apartment complex, three unknown men burst in, then left in a hurry. Ford's team ran them down within a few miles. Any guns, knives, drugs in the car? It's okay if we check, make sure? Guns and stacks of cash were found in the car. One suspect was wanted in an armed robbery case. Heading back to the strip, Ford told us about rings of auto thieves who prowl parking garages nightly to pick out the exact vehicle they want to steal. And a new twist, rings of modern pickpockets who target cell phones in crowded nightclubs. Pickpockets, really, really good pickpockets. Um, and they were very coordinated to the point where um, you might feel a bump and you look down, your, your phone's gone, you look up, you see somebody that you think stole your phone, you approach him, turn him around, he doesn't have it because he's handed it off to two or three people by that time. Teams of five or more thieves will hit a club and walk out with as many as 40 cell phones in a night. And it's organized crime, right? It's absolutely organized, yeah. They fly out here for the sole purpose to do that. One of Ford's detectives spots a known drug dealer in front of a strip hotel and snatches him up. On a table in the security office is a thick wad of cash and a grocery store of drugs, including baggies of fake cocaine. But the suspect offers a deal, information on the location of a dangerous fugitive. The team springs into action, regroups at a crime-ridden apartment complex off the strip, and collars the suspect, who's wanted for attempted murder in another state. It's all in a night's work. The tourists and, and people that are at home 
um, and don't come up to the strip, they don't see it and they don't pay attention to it because they're not in, in, immersed in it every day. So here's a crime. We've been working with Sergeant Mike Ford for the past several weeks and setting up these ride-alongs, and we worked with him many times over the last 10 years on other stories. Early this morning, we learned that he died at home overnight about 24 hours ago. And one thing Mike wanted us to see happen is for elected officials and maybe some casino bosses to take the same kind of ride-along to see for themselves what it's mm -hmm. like out there. People have no idea. Boy, what an eye-opener. Mm -hmm, certainly. We're going to do more cow. about Mike, too, about his yeah, career. Yeah, He's just too bad. He was 46 a, years old. Uh, he was with it. Yeah. Metro wow. for 20 years, so we're going to do some follow-up once we hear from his family. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Thanks George. George.